Hey everybody, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and today I'm going to review the Receiver Ready Electrify Super Sportster EP from Great Plains. Now the Super Sportster is considered to be a good second plane after you've mastered a trainer plane and introduced you into low wing sport flying, and that's why I chose this airplane. I've already put it together, and what I'm going to do next is go over the plane details, talk about the build process, and then we'll take it out to the flying field and give it a try. Now as I said earlier, I have the receiver ready version, which means the motor, ESCs, and servos are already installed in the plane. So let's take a closer look at that. The motor is a brushless outrunner motor. It has an 18 amp brushless ESC. And there are four servos installed in the airplane. You have one for the left aileron, one for the right aileron, one for the rudder, and one for the elevator. Now to complete the build, you're going to need to supply your own receiver, transmitter, and battery for the plane. And I'll be using my Futaba 8FG Super Radio to control the airplane. And in the airplane itself, I have a 7-channel Futaba receiver. For the plane battery, I'll be using the battery that's recommended by the manufacturer. And it is a Super Tiger 3-cell, 11.1 volt, 1250 milliamp hour LiPo battery with a 15C discharge rating. Assembling the plane was quick and easy. The wing simply slides together using a carbon fiber tube and attaches to the fuselage using just one nylon bolt. The wheels simply plug into the landing gear blocks on the wing so there are no screws or glue needed. The horizontal stabilizer comes in two pieces with a square joiner and is self-aligning when slid into place. And it's held firmly to the plane with four screws so there's no gluing needed. Another part of the build process is installing the spinner and 9x6 prop on the brushless motor. Taking a look at the canopy now, you see it's held onto the airplane with strong magnets, which allow for quick and easy access to the battery and the electronics in the airplane. After installing the receiver in the airplane, I set up low and high rates per the instruction manual using the AccuThrow deflection meter. Now the CG for the airplane is 2 and 5 8 inches back from the leading edge of the wing or 67 millimeters. Okay, just a couple of more quick notes about the airplane and we are out of here. Now the wingspan on the airplane is 40 inches. The length is 32.5 inches. And the flying weight is 20 to 22 ounces depending on what type battery you use. Well, that's about it for the first part of the review. Let's take the Super Sportster out to the flying field and give it a go. Okay, this is the tower. You're clear for takeoff. The plane was dialed in, so I didn't have to touch the trims. So let's get to enjoying this flight. Let's try a roll. Not bad. And a quick flyby. Well, the first roll was pretty good, so let's try a double roll. Pretty smooth. The first loop was smooth and easy. All right, let's try touch and go. Nice, touch and go. I'm having fun with the plane so far, so let's try a spin. Not too bad. And launches were just too easy. It's time to get low and inverted.
It's handling it pretty well right now, and this is on low rates. Alright, well I'm very satisfied with the plane, so let's bring it on in and take it back to the shop. Well there you have it, that was the review and maiden flight of the Electrofly Super Sportster EP by Great Planes. And let me give you my final thoughts about the plane before we go today. I was very impressed with the plane's flight, being able to go slow or fast, and also being able to do 3D maneuvers such as loops, rolls, and inverted flying. So, overall, I'm going to give this plane a thumbs up. Now, as always, I can't say if this plane is right for you, but what I can say about it is, it would be a good choice for somebody stepping up from a trainer plane to a low wing sport flyer. And for those intermediate and advanced flyers, you'll have a great time with it just like I did. Now, if you want to purchase this plane just like you see it in front of me, you can get it online at TowerHobbies.com, and I'll be providing a direct link to their website for this plane in my video notes. So be sure to read my video notes and go check out this plane at TowerHobbies.com, okay? Well, that's about it for the review. I'm glad you got to see me again, and we'll see you later on the tube. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Woo! That was close. <laughs> Almost lost the toe with that one. <laughs> thumbs up on that one then. <laughs> no toes off. <laughs> Alright, one more again. Woo! That was close.